Hey, welcome back. Read the Bible with Luke. We're going to start in 2 Chronicles 6, 19. Yet have regard for the prayer of your servant and his supplication, O Lord my God, to listen to the cry and to the prayer which your servant prays before you. That your eyes may be open toward this house day and night, toward the place in which you have said that you would put your name to listen to the prayer, which your servant shall pray toward this place. So listen to the request of your servant and your people, Israel, when they pray toward this place. Hearing, no, 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 hear from your dwelling place, from heaven. And when you hear, forgive. That's very humble. If a man sins against his neighbor and he is required to take an oath and he comes in and he comes in and takes the oath before your altar, <laughs> I've got to, I got to, then hear from heaven and act and judge your servants punishing the wicked by bringing his conduct on his own head and providing justice to the righteous by giving to him in accordance with his righteousness. If your people Israel have been defeated by an enemy because they have sinned against you and they return to you and confess your name and pray and make supplication before you in this house, then hear from heaven and forgive the sin and bring them again to the land which you gave to them and their fathers. Mm. I won't, can I get that land? <laughs> when the heavens, oh, I already have it, my fault. When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because your people have sinned against you. So Solomon, okay. And they pray towards this place and confess your name. And turn from their sin when you afflict and humble them. Then hear in heaven and forgive their sin. Of your servants and your people, Israel. Indeed, teach them the good way in which they should walk and send rain on your land, which you have given to your people as an inheritance. I mean, you gave it to us. You're just not going to. I feel that. If there is famine in the land, if there is pestilence, there is blight or mildew. Blight, I feel like this flight like ran away. Am I correct in that? Dang, man, you gotta stop all these words, man. You need some more words. A disease or injury of plants marked by formation of lesions, withering, and death. Ugh. <laughs> or mildew, or if there is locusts or grasshoppers, if their enemies besiege them in the land of their cities, whatever plague, whatever sickness there is, then whatever prayer or request is made by any man or all of your people, Israel, each knowing his suffering and his own pain and stretching out his hands towards this house, then hear from heaven. Come on, man. Solomon's painting the way for us. But whatever it is, still go. <laughs> Just go. Solomon and I already got it right. Just go. Then hear from heaven your dwelling place and forgive and render to each in accordance with all his ways, whose heart you know. For you alone know the hearts of sons of men. Facts. So they may fear you to walk in your ways as long as they live in the land which you have given to our fathers. I think you should I think you should try that that house that you want. Just go on speaking and say, yeah, he done already gave that to my father. That's yours. That yo right there. Also in regard to the foreigner who is not from your people Israel but has come from a far country because of what he heard. 
but he heard about you. He didn't came. He didn't travel far just from, just from off he heard. I don't know if you ever travel far just because off of something you heard. Like I've traveled far, but I've had a little more information. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But has come from a far country for the sake of your great name and your mighty power and your outstretched arm. Basically, I, he, he, you could have reached him in the other country. Basically, that's what that's how I feel. Back, I feel. You read it. You tell me how you feel about it. How I feel. Then hear from heaven, your dwelling place, and do according to all for which the foreigner calls to you, so that all the peoples of the earth may know your name, and fear you. As do we do in Israel. And that they may know that this house which I have built is called by your name. When your people go to war. I like this. This is detailed. It's, 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 it's extra. It's fanatical. When your people go to war against their enemies. Come on now. By the way you send them and they pray to you facing this city. Which you have chosen so now, last time it was reached. Now he's just saying that they face this way. Then hear from heaven their prayer and their request and maintain their cause and do justice. Come on, man. It's in writing already. When they sin against you, for there is no man who does not sin. I'm trying. I want to calm down here and get through this thing. Now. I don't want to. You are and you are angry with them and hand them over to an enemy so that they take them away captain to a faraway land or near if they take it to heart in the land where they have been taken captive and repent and pray to you in the land of their captivity saying we have sinned we have done wrong and acted wickedly if they return to you with all their heart and all their soul in their land of captivity and they pray facing their land which you have given to their fathers and toward the city which you have chosen and toward the house which I have built for your name then hear from heaven. I mean, how many, how many X's, how many, how many plan B's you want? Yeah, hey, well, we got about five, six plan B's here. How many, how many you want? I mean, his grace is so... It's so heavy, you know? I don't... That's just a, a different type of love. You can't... I don't even know if I I'm capable or have these the parts the uh to to I mean this is very heavy. Uh, I can't that's that went from come pray to touch, don't gotta pray, pray in the direction. All right, let me finish up here. Second mm -hmm. Chronicles 6, 48. 40, sorry. Now, oh my God, I pray. Let your eyes be open and your ears attentive to the prayer offered. Now then arise and come to your resting place. You and the ark of your strength and power. Let your priests be clothed with salvation and let your godly ones rejoice in your goodness. Do not turn away and reject the face of your anointed. Remember your love, kindness, and your faithfulness to your servant, David. <clears throat> I can remember growing up saying, you know, my mom would tell me, like, you only get three three strikes. I mean, all right. Look, 
Okay, let me finish this part. I'm just, I'm gonna, I don't want to expound on that. When Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices. Mm. That would be so awesome to experience. I can imagine. I would be so... Hitting a praise dance. Because for one, we we blessed. It's one thing to bless the food, but to have him come bless the food and make a spectacle of it. <laughs> oh, man. The priest could not enter the house of the Lord because the glory and brilliance of the Lord had filled the house. All right, we're going to finish. I feel like I'm... I don't want to... I don't want to... Um, I just want to... I just want you guys to read it on your own, see how you feel. Sometimes I can get a little too excited or too emotional. Just because that's a lot of love that he just, uh, he gives us and we get so many chances. So many chances to get it right, you know? He's so great. I love him. You guys will too once you start reading it. We'll see you next time. Bring the Bible, Oak.